guys we are back in python taking a vacation in the functions section uh we'll be resetting the code as we go here because i've already done it <coughs> excuse me so uh define a function called answer that takes no arguments so def answer takes no arguments and it returns a value of 42. Uh, I think that's it. All right, all right. So define a function called hotel cost. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of math here with one argument, nights. So it's going to take uh, how many nights are we going to be staying at this hotel? The hotel costs $140 per night. So the function of a hotel cost uh, should return 140 times nights. So that seems pretty straightforward. Now, below, below your existing code, define a function plane co plane ride cost. So we need to find how much our plane ride uh, underscore cost is going to be. And this is, I mean, this is pretty may seem pretty basic, but I mean, there's entire sites devoted to this, like um, Expedia and uh, Kayak, uh, which I recently used. So. Uh, takes a st string city, so it's going to take our city, and then it's going as input. The function should return a different price. But all right, so if city is equal equal to Charlotte, and you could pro it'd probably be best here to use a switch statement, but uh, return one eighty three. If city is equal to uh, Tampa, return two twenty. If city is equal to Pittsburgh, oops. We want it to return two. It should be else LFs also. Because we're only going to need one. LF city is equal to Los Angeles, where I reside. 475, because it's expensive as fuck out here <laughs> um and do they have an else statement doesn't look like they're asking for an else statement okay um all right so let's see below your existing code we're going to find another function are you going to need a rental car some people do with uh days as a parameter i personally am going to portland so i would have used the I'm not getting a hotel because I'm staying at my brother's. I don't need a car because I'm hopefully going to be using his or his girlfriend's. Um, so for me, I would only need the plane ride cost. Cool. All right. So um, rental car cost with an argument called days. Calculate the cost of renting a car every day. It costs 40. So uh, let's, let's read this over. Every day it costs 40. If you rent the car for seven or more days, you get 50 off your total. Alternatively, if you rent the car for three or more days, you get 20 off your total. You cannot get both of the above. So let's do it shortest to longest. So if days is less than or equal to two, um, what is it, $50, $40 a day? Uh, total return days times 40. L if days is greater than or equal to three or days is less than or equal to six. We have a new range and uh, we want to return days Days times 40 
minus 20. Uh, L if J is greater than 6. Return. J is times 40 minus 50. All right, you cannot get both of the above discounts. So I believe that's it. Just like in the example of this, just having to check an if statement and the three day check and else if statement. So let's see what's going on here. Oops, I have to do it like this. It's returning 260 instead of the correct amount, 230 for seven days. So let's see how they did it here. Greater than or equal to seven. So yeah, it shouldn't matter. Uh, so if you rent the car for seven more days, you get 50 more days. This should work. So we rent it for seven days times 40, that's 280 minus 50. There, maybe my brain isn't working, but let's look here. Days of 7 times 40, 280 minus 50 equals 230. So, it's returning 260. Uh, oh. Hmm. All right. So it's returning two sixty. So let's go ahead and look at the form because in my head the logic works. Which one was this? This was four or seven. Which days is greater than equals seven? Rental cost. Alright, so let's check our indentation. If, else, if. So far, everything seems to be working just fine. So it may just be that they want us to return it, write the if statement in the proper way. I don't think that's the issue, though. So days is greater than or equal to seven. Rental car cost days. All right, well, let's go ahead and put in what they want us to do here because it looks like it looks like they want us to start with if days is greater than or equal to and then set of costs. Okay, so let's take out, let's do it the other way. I don't like doing this because I think our code works just fine. 
but for whatever reason we're getting an incorrect value here so let's just go ahead and cut this out we'll start with if days is greater than or equal to seven return all right so we'll, we'll do it the way that we saw in a couple examples cost equals days times 40 return and if it's greater than that cost is equal to cost minus 50 return cost and we'll say lf days is less than seven and days is greater than oh did i do an or statement if i did an or statement that's why it doesn't work because <laughs> it might be it might be doing the other value which would make sense uh days is so if it's less than seven and days is greater than or equal to three uh cost is equal to cost minus 20 right return cost else return cost all right there we go um, basically, I think that was our error. I think we used an or instead of an and. I, I don't remember, but uh, that was probably it. All right, so below the existing code, define a function called trip cost that takes two par parameters, city and days. So def, def trip cost. It's going to take in city. Oops, no caparinos. And days. Like the example above, have your function return the sum of calling rental cars days. All right, so we are just literally going to be returning return. I like doing things in brackets. You don't have to. Um, so we need a, I guess nights is going to be the same. Hotel underscore cost nights or days, excuse me days plus uh what's the next one rental car cost plus rental car cost and we'll also use days here and then plus we did hotel rental car and then we have uh, plane underscore ride underscore cost and that's going to take in the city it is completely valid to call the hotel night function with the variable days I uh, just can't believe you've called the one in festival of days and nights alright your code looks real oh trip cost City, common days, global name, plenary cost is not defined. There we go. So we were just basically running all these functions, and we created a, a third function to calculate them all together. Um, yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much it right there. All right, modify the trip cost function definition. Add a third argument called spending money so we're adding something sp spending underscore money and then modify what the trip cost function does add the variable spending money all right so plus spending underscore money And on the last one, after your previous code, print out the trip cost to Los Angeles for five days with an extra $600 of spending money. Don't forget. All right, so we are going to call trip cost. And in it, we need a city. We're going to Los Angeles. And from there, we need uh, days. That's going to be five. And our spending money is going to be 600 So we want to print this out unindented 
There we go. So our total cost is going to be 1955 for this trip. So a uh, little bit of a you know simple calculator for traveling and stuff like that and very basic but I mean as I mentioned before there's tons of sites that gets millions and hundreds of thousands of views that does exactly this so kind of cool stuff. Uh, let's see what we're going to be doing next video. We are going to be messing around with lists and array lists and stuff like that. So see you in the next video of our Python. And I appreciate any constructive criticism or comments. I really do appreciate comments too. It motivates me to get in here and keep on working on myself and making videos. So thanks for the support.